There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So the D-line's going to spread out. They'll fake it. Now Love. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It's a four-yard pickup. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. And now they're in the hurry up. Off of play action. Luck. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. It's a 10-yard pickup and it moves the chains. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. In this situation, it's really tough to figure out how to defend because they have plenty of room to still take deep shots at the end zone as they just did there. Yet at the same time, you've got to be ready for the short throw. In this case, when you see the cue that they're going for the end zone, retreat and make sure you have a way to play forward. Back towards the receiver and have a chance to bat the ball away as they did there. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. We're back now in KC. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll come out in the pistol. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets them up now first and goal. Well, they're certainly running the ball pretty well on this drive, and all I remember as a secondary guy was if you're making a lot of tackles in a game, that's usually not good for your defense. You've got to figure out how to keep things in front of you because you know there's... And he's in! Touchdown, Raiders! A great play there. Taking it in. And the Raiders add on to their lead. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. One receiver left, three to the right. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on to it second down. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And 
And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. He'll drop to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. Here we go now. They'll look to throw again. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. All right, here we go. Three, here we go. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he's got some space here. And he slides to avoid the hit. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And quickly, they get to the line. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught down for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, so this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes. Look at your timeouts. Make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard, and the time left on the clock, as you noted? So many things to go through. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now here's a timeout coming on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Now here's whistles and another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Ten yards to go on third. Now they try the right side here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And a timeout here. Timeout taken. Whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Luck. And that's caught by Smith. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. A gutsy decision there going for it on fourth, but they got it, and that likely puts an end to this one. Indeed, it was gutsy because there's so many other options they probably could have exercised in that situation. And he's across for the touchdown, and in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. Down. And the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so.
And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Left side, Hopkins. A good pick up there, 22. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown, but probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. I can't believe I'm saying this, but in today's NFL, I wouldn't want to play defense. Too many great receivers and guys who are accurate who can give them the ball. We've seen the result. Days like this one. And it's the Raiders that'll come up with it. And that will put victory in sight for the silver and black. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the score.